In this video, I'll demonstrate how to organize your students and instructors in the Great Leaps digital platform using the features found on the Manage Organization page. This set of features is not currently available for all Great Leaps digital users, but instead only those that our office has activated it for, which is typically district level accounts managing multiple schools with many students and instructors. First, you'll notice as the administrator account, you'll now have this manage organization option in your top menu bar. In addition, if you click the drop down on your profiles icon, you'll see that there will be one organization that is going to be your own personal name. We call this your personal organization. And you'll have the option to switch to another organization, which is likely going to be one of the schools. And you'll notice the notification up top once you have switched to a new organization, as well as the headline there that says, Welcome School 1, to indicate you're viewing the students from that organization, in this case, named School 1. An account manager from the Great Leaps team will set up these organizations for you and name them as desired. Your instructors will also do the same to switch between their personal organization and the organization that they've been added to to view that set of students. Now, to invite the instructors into your organization, you'll need to select the Manage Org button from the menu bar. Then navigate over to the Invite User button. From here, you'll simply type in the user's email or their Great Leaps Digital username that you'd like to be added to that organization to be able to view that set of students. When you finish typing the email or username, put in a comma and space, and you'll see it pop up as its own little tag there. If you do it by email and the individual does not have an account already, they will be sent an invite to create their account and automatically be added to that organization. If the individual already has an account, they will be automatically added to the organization and it will then be visible for them on the top right corner when they drop down their profiles icon. When you're done with that, you can click invite. Next, we have our groups. I've already created a group A shown below, but if you'd like to create a new group, you can do so clicking up top. Let's create group B. And now we'll see both of those listed below. Then when you'd like to add instructors to that group, click the edit instructors button select the instructors you'd like to add, and edit their status. If we make uh, Great Leaps Info a manager in this case, they'll have the ability to add and change other instructors in that group or to work with students. So now within that group, you can see the students that each of those instructors has access to. If you would like for all of your instructors within that organization to have access to all of the students, you don't need to bother with setting up any of the groups. In fact, in most cases, this is exactly what we recommend. It allows for a bit more flexibility, so if one instructor is absent, another could potentially pick up in their place. You're still able to share students with specific instructors in this organization setting. Rather you're in your personal organization, I can share students from here, or in one of the school organizations. In most cases your instructors or teachers will not have any students in their personal organization like we do in this example. Our program will also save which organization the user was most recently logged into so that when they log back in on another device 
It'll be opened up to the correct organization so they can view all their students right away.